The biggest hurdle normally in Pharma 4.0 is that the organization must be matured. So this is why in Pharma 4.0 we developed a maturity model which can be applied, which is available at ISPE, so each organization can check it out and see where they are and make their own benchmarking on the digital maturity. So the key misunderstanding with, with uh, Pharma 4.0 is that this is not something only for IT. So Pharma 4.0 is talking about digitalization, but we see it in the whole context of the holistic control strategy from the ICH guidelines. So this means ICH Q8 and 10, where we has, have especially focused on the pharmaceutical quality system. And the pharmaceutical quality system is consisting, of course, of the different elements and enablers, which we added as a digital elements and enablers, which are then the digital maturity, that is uh, data integrity by design. And so this fulfills a complete picture of the ICH Q10 elements and enablers. So the ISPE Pharma 4.0 operating model is based on, in, on all the concepts of Industry 4.0. But what is different in Pharma, this is a very important point, are the regulatories. So we added all the requirements from regulatory, like they are in ICH Q10 or Q8, to this model, so that we added on what had been already invented in Industry 4.0. So we are not reinventing the wheel, we are adding on uh, an operating model which is already proven in other industries and we want to leverage here in the pharma industry. Uh, the key point of the Pharma 4.0 operating model is that it is of course interconnected. This means that uh, the tools for the digitalization are enabling a full connected uh, network a structure which allows direct communication between all the levels in an organization and this goes from the shop floor up to the top floor of the management and we have full transparency uh, based on all the digitalization by big data analytics and then and using this data now for decision making.